to the nitty gritty and um, the top 10 ranked teams in this season's uh, Xbox playoffs season 13. Uh, I've got Lil Yoshi back with me. Thank God he's back. So I've got someone to talk to when he has great wisdom and he'll be telling us what he thinks. <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> yes, Barrel's griping, but there we go. There, there he is. I, I, he's uh, paid me well. Um, and we're going to see the top 10. Now, this top 10, all 10 teams are fantastic. Um, but which order did they come in? I'm trying to think of the teams, what everybody really was tipping. I think Mutt's team was tipped a lot, wasn't it? Retasticals. Um, I think there's a bit of love for Drick Hunters, wasn't there, as well? If my memory serves me correct. Um, yeah, it's got to be. Oh, and the bad have got to be there or there. The bad beards. So they were the three I think everybody sort of agreed with. Drick Hunter, uh, um, the rats. Are you sure you're broadcasting, mate? You're not coming up on my Twitch. I hope so. He's saying I am. I'll have a look. Am I broadcasting or am I just talking to myself yet again? Oh, is that? Don't forget there's a delay. There will be a delay. Oh, there we go. I think there you go. go. Yeah, you sorry. See. That's me. Sorry, mate. That's all right, mate. Don't worry about it. So, um, yeah. So, basically, if, if we go by what the public say or the Blood Bowl community say, we should be expecting Mutskaven, Drix Wood Elves, the bad, is it the bad beards of Rambo? All three, really, I think it's safe to say should be in the top five. I don't think I'm wrong in saying that. Um, I, you know the team and, outs, uh, you know the and, team and out, Spice. I'd expect Spice to land yeah, in the I'm top Yeah, I'm just five. about to say, I, 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 he's going he's gonna to I haven't heard a lot of people giving him loads of love this season. Yeah, he's, he's going to curse me because I'm going to say, well... What happened to Spitz? Nobody... He seems like his stock's gone down. You know, it's this guy who can get it done in the ladder, but as soon as he gets to the playoffs, he, he doesn't get very far. But I think that's a bit unfair because most of the time he's just been so unlucky with the dice, hasn't he? I mean, last season, last season you know, I was, I was like, oh my God, he tried everything and the dice just wouldn't. You know, just wouldn't go for him. But what people got to remember about Space is he's Necro. He plays Necro extremely well. He plays most teams at high level, but Necro he, he seems to really get. And it's a good team. But I don't see people say, hey, what about that Necro team of Space? It seems like he's gone under the radar. Well, he had until I've just obviously blown it. Um, so, yeah, that, <laughs> that's, that's another team I'd be interested to have a look at as well. So... Let's get on when I find it. There we go. Let me get into here. Someone's already left the competition, so that'll mess up all the scions. Congratulations to who that was. Probably Dwarf Coach off the top of my head. Um, let's have a look then. So we're into the top 10 then. Are we ready to unleash number 10? We've tried to we've tried to just drag it out a bit so people can get the popcorn, the food, and get back and get in the seat to watch out who is who. But we are now going to unveil number 10 in the, um, the the rankings. And number 10, a little Yoshi, is, when I find them, it is Retasticals Mark IV. The Skaven team come in at 10. And that is not me messing about. That is the formula. So. That's Mutt's. That is Mutt's team. What everybody is saying. Well, not everybody. Everybody's saying this is the team what's going to go close. I think we can say that. But the formula tells me there's nine teams with a better chance than this team of winning the competition. What is your initial reaction to that? And do you agree with the formula? I, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I think this is the winning team. I think this team's going to win. Um, I, I can see why... Depending on what's in your formula, I can see where it might be coming from. Yeah. yeah. Four unskilled players, only two guard, only three tackle. AV7, pretty much universal, obviously. Yeah. Skaven is Skaven. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the, but there's the... weaknesses in it. Yeah. But, but you don't want skilled linemen on Skaven. So no. if, if that's been included, then, then that's dragging them down for no reason. Is this the better of the two Skavens in it? Or no. Two no, Skavens it's not. This? The other Skaven team is higher no, ranked. Mm, I, I, I was gobsmacked. I'll be to, oh, yeah. Okay, I'll be interested to see what they look like when we get there then. Yeah. I mean, the, I thing, think, the I thing, thing is, Yoshi, what, what I will stress yet again is 
this is done regardless of the structure of his draw. He got a beautiful draw. He got through the dwarfs unscathed, you know. So we don't put that into the formula, you know. So, you know, it, it's how it is. So this has been done without his first game being played. So, you know, but the formula, it, it says it's got a chance. It's in the top 10, but they're not getting... The, how can I put this without being insulting? The formula is not getting on the hype train. Everybody else has got on the hype train. It seems like the formula has got one foot on, one foot off, thinking, do you want to stay on this train or not? It's a great team. It's a great team. Three agility five pieces. Yeah. Um, those, movement those are the ten. deal breaker, the three agility fives. I mean, look at that movement ten. I mean, come on, seriously. Uh, one turner. And it's more regarded as one of the best Na- Xbox coaches. Natural one turner with agility is just horrible. How do you stop even this if thing? You, again... Yeah, stack up on the line. He's still going to get throughs on. But again, he's got two pluses like, to get like, through. Like, like I said before, the formula looks at if you play five games, you lose the movement ten, you lose some agility. All of a sudden, this team starts getting wear and tear. And again, you got to think of it. It's a scaven team. They more than likely will break. Um, so you got you say not... that, but when when the draw was done, there's mm. no injuries on this team. Which is just ridiculous for a Skaven team that's played. But I don't know. We, we know one, a lot of games. we know one or two bad games down the line, and that could be the difference. Um, I don't know. Well, I mean, games, I, no I personally Crackers. would have. I would have had this probably in my top three, if not top. I agree with you. You know, and this is what I say. Yeah, I did make the filters for the formula, but I've not had any of the input. I've just added it all up, and and that's it. I would have this top three. The formula says tenth. So it's not saying it's not got a chance because top 10 is where you want to be, but the formally prefers Nan other. Now, I will say the 9th and the 10th was a flip of a coin. So it was the Nuffle coin used and it landed so on... This is an, e- an equal 9th. So it's like it's an equal 9th, but we have to have Nuffle involved. So I have a, a Nuffle coin, what a flip. And it came on the side of the other team what has the Nuffle blessing out the two. But yeah, I when I looked at it, I was like, oh my God. My first reaction was, when I was doing the formula, I was like, oh, well, you know, there's a few shocks, but I don't think there'll be much outcry. And then when I saw who was 10th, I was like, oh my God, they're going to murder me because this team, in my humble opinion, <laughs> and probably most of everybody else's humble opinion, should be a higher up. But the formula does not agree. And that is 10th. It's a great team. It's a great team. Um, no enhancement. Interesting. A lot of teams haven't got an enhancement. 18 wins, 8 draws, 4 losses. So the formula could say, look, he's had 4 losses. It's only going to take 1 loss to knock him out the cup. You know? Um, true, true. And there's, when you start to get to this level, there's teams with, like, no losses and 1 loss and stuff like that, isn't there? So. You know? And it wasn't that long ago that he drew with the Kemri. Only, was it, 6 games ago. So he must have had a lot of the power there. And he lost to the Humans 4-3. He drew with point and click 1-1. One, one. So, you know, the formula's like, hey, hang on a minute before you all get on my back. The Underworld, 2-2, two, two, seven games ago. That's the Underworld, the wildcard spot. So if you look at the four, if you look at this, Tina's Revenge won 2 nil, unless that was a, a concede. So all of a sudden, this team, what rightfully so, everybody's got on the choo-choo train. If you look a bit deeper into it, Teams have done quite well against it. So maybe maybe the formula is right, or it might not be. I don't know. Would I love this team? Hell yeah. What a team. The thing it's lacking, yeah, though, for I, me... I, I, I really like well-developed Skavens. The thing, the thing I what, love well-developed Skavens. The thing what's lacking for me here is the Stone Vermin on Got Claw. I liked a bit more Claw. I'm just being greedy now. I want some Claw. Um, but the team's great, and it and Mutt's an amazing coach. This team would be a problem with an average coach, but you throw Mutt, uh, uh, you know, behind the steering wheel, it's a bloody nightmare. But I'm afraid. It's in, actually, it's really interesting. I've just realised Mutt's got four gutter runners, and he normally yeah. doesn't. He normally runs three. So Does he? I'm interested to know what's changed his mind. Yeah, Ooh. I'm sure I asked him about this when you had you had him on. Right, Bernie on the box ages yeah. ago, and I was like, oh, three gutter runners. That's odd because I, I always run four and uh, and he said no it, so if if I remember correctly one of those is going to be on the bench which is like at least 160k mm, mm. sat on the bench or probably actually the two ten probably be the one, one turn, turn sat on the bench 
The one ten. Uh, so that's two ten k. That's not going to show on the pitch. But that'll mm. be. It's interesting to see how that plays out. Hmm. Hmm. Absolutely. In terms of Absolutely. weaknesses, yeah, I'd agree with you though. The claw on a storm vermin is always nice. Yeah, that's always beautiful, um, isn't it? I mean, it's it's not bad. Got block on on the rat ogre, so yeah, but rat ogres are good. That makes the, up the for it the, I, I think having block as well on the rat ogre is huge. Um, but you know, you, every so often you've got to roll a one, so they're not as reliable as a, a storm vermin. So, but at least you've got friendsy, so you get two chances. So it's. But yeah, it's a great team. He's got he's, he's just a nightmare to play when he's scaven. But this is the best scaven team I've seen him ever have. And you know, I, I I totally get why everyone's on the hype train. He's just beat a dwarf team. I don't think he beat them convincingly though. I thought he was under he was in the control of the game, but I expected him to win by more if that makes sense. And in the end, the the, the guy could have got a one one if he'd, um, you know. Did the pass? So um, I, I yeah, think there's one nil's enough. One nil is all you need. Yeah, and I think he, I, I think when you see this amount of firepower, but I'm hoping he played it on a bit of like um, he, he stalled until he stalled team until preservation late. sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's, trying he's to keep your team, team alive as well as win it. Yeah, he, he did the right thing, but the, uh, might uh, blow on that lineman's weird. I'm not sure about number eight. Yeah, yeah, I, I must admit, else. yeah, I just look a bit. Odd, guard it? there would have been. Guard there would have been a much, th- yeah. much more appealing option to me. Yeah, especially when you've got two still there with Mighty Blow. It does seem a bit odd, doesn't it? Mm. Three team rolls, though. You're not going to want to hit with him. No. Yeah, I'm, that's about, well, yeah, yeah, about right. 18 wins, 8 draws, 4 losses. Good record. Uh, already through to the second round already. I don't know who Ooh. he's against. but um, you Hasn't know. got a thrower. That's a bit... Yeah, Brave. a lot. To be fair, a lot of scary coaches don't take throwers. They'd rather just give it to a gut runner, sit at the back, and then just tear a boost past. So it, it, again, throwers on a lot of teams are very divided. Some want them, some don't. Um, yeah, I just like it for the free short hands, the free pickup, really, more yeah, than yeah. anything else. Yeah, absolutely. But the way people say to that is like, oh, right, you get the short hands, but you're going to use it handed off anyway. So you're either handing off a two plus, and you could still bend a reroll, or you could use a pass. And if you haven't got accurate, it's a three plus instead of a two plus. So uh, I suppose it, it's horses mm. for courses, whatever you prefer. But um, there you go. That's tenth place. Ratasticals, tenth place. Lucky a lot of people wasn't. A lot of people are just joining now, so they've missed it. So maybe we won't get any. Oh, slack. Okay. It's gone under the radar. You'll get gone under the radar. That, so that is tenth place. Ratasticals, Mutt team, who everyone thinks will win. Right then, so ninth place, what what got ahead of Ratasticals by the Nuffle coin of destiny. That sounds more exciting. Um, that team is a Necro <laughs> team. It's a Necro team. Is it Space Magic's Necro team? That's what people want to know, but it's not. It is the other um, um, Necro team. It's Bazooka's Necro team. Wretched Wolves, is it the second? Wretched Wolves 2. What do you want to call it? 1710 TV, 110k in the bank. Um, one mighty blow werewolf. Um, the other one is just naked. And this is what really worried me. I, I went back and looked at what I'd done wrong on the formula mm. because I'm like, how is this even got the same chance as Mutt's Skaven? There doesn't look enough there to even make me convinced. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've made a mistake. So I don't know. I have no idea. But what what do you like about this team? There's got to be something good about this team. Um, what, what do you, what do you lot, think? There's a couple of things nice about this team. I mean, yep. uh, Blodge on the white. Mm-hmm. With guard and tackle as well. That's nice. The other one's... Well, yeah, the other one's a standard build. Block and guard. Um, uh, sorry, Mighty Blow and Guard. He's got another one of those little Fend players for going to bother the ball carrier. Yeah, that, that's really caught on this season. Sidestepping Fend Ghoul. That's, he, he looks nice. Movement up as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, um, he's certainly got, got a werewolf pieces. killer, but he's dodged. Werewolf killer, but he's not, not gone for pylon. But he's a double for pylon. Oh, is it a double? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when, when, you, when you look at it like that, then... You know, it, it, it's only if he rolls a double. I like that. I mean, I like the fend. I like the movement eight goal. I like the killer. Uh, it's a shame about the other movement werewolf who got plus, killed. Movement so. plus flesh golems. Oof, yeah, that's 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 quite big. Yeah, 
But he's kept him. all he can do is stand up. Yeah. It's sort of late in the day. You can't really get rid of him now. He's going to be in the middle of the pitch. But yeah, it is a bit of a pain. It seems like it's a team that's gone through the ringer a bit. If I'm being honest, it seems like he's been beaten up a bit. Um, yeah, it looks like he's lost a few. Like I said, um, I only think one he's... dirty player and only yeah. 13 players. That's yeah, a bit short. But no, it's a nice team. But yeah, yeah. And I, and I'm, I'm and surprised and to I'm, see these higher than yeah. But I must stress, it was game. a coin flip. What put these ahead of the uh, the rats? That's the only thing what separates this team from the Rats. Although, you know, I don't know anybody who would take this team over the Rats. I have the Rats every day of the week. I don't know many people. And the thing what worries me about this team is, like I said, movement, a man of movement on the goal is bad. And obviously only one good werewolf. But 17-10 ain't bad TV. If he's against some of the high TV teams, you could get Cheney. That all of a sudden makes him a lot better. Um, again, I like the name of the, the stadium, Crufts. Um, but this is the thing what may have enticed the formula. This is a good record. 23 wins, 8 draws, 4 losses. That's solid. Very good record. Um, Ooh, obviously, he's got 3 re-rolls. Some good players in there as well. I mean, last two games, Drew against Hells Angels, Drew yep. against Kill Ball. Yeah, yeah. He beat, can't hit, won't hit. That's Who's the big that? Ogre team. Uh, beat Concede Management 2-0. Uh, Groening Goals, I think they're a decent team as well. It beat the, it beat the, the Dark Horse, the Vims Underworld. He, he drew with the Lizards. He lost to the Dwarfs. Um, but, hey, you know, you're going to lose. He's beaten a lot of players who are re- beaten and drawn with a lot of the players who are in the playoff. Yeah. He's, so I don't he's, know if this he's, for anything, but that is a, yeah. that is it, a big thing. If I think it's huge. I, I always think it's team. huge. Um, he, he drew with my team. Um, but he beat the he beat the Peekaboo Stone Boys 3-1. Um, he beat the Bad Beards. Oh, beat the Bad Beards 1-0. That's a huge... Oh, he beat the... He beat yeah. the that... So, it's all of a sudden, you, you're Boys thinking to yourself... One. And this is why I like doing the following, because we've all said, and we've both said, there's no way we'd take this team ahead of the the um, the, the Rats. But then we do delve into the intricacies of, of the team and the history, and all of a sudden, we're thinking, you know what? That's a good record. He's got always oh, beaten, or he's drawn with the best players in the competition. And all of a sudden, now we can sort of start building a case for why this team is that higher up. He's not. He's not been through the ringer. He's only had one death. But it feels like he has. So that's. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know you said that earlier. But if you you go through the records, one de- unless he had a lot of stat busts that he's just decided to back off. But yeah, uh, yeah he's only had one wait, straight wait, death. Is, and I think is, you said is, that was the wolf recently. He's definitely lost. He's definitely lost. Definitely lost the wolf. I know that for a fact because he, he had two killers. Now he's only got one killer. Um, but there you go. That, that's now the place. Let's move on to eighth place. And it's another big name and another team what people might have thought would be in the top three. But the formula says no. It is Drick Hunters, the Drick Wood Elf team, coming at eighth. No top three for the Drick. The former champ. People say the best on the uh, the Xbox and the best double agent ever. But um, yeah, what can you say? What well, I'll let you lead with this. What do you think of the team? Oh, oh, he's missing a lot, isn't he? Um, mm. He's a bit min-maxed by the look of it. Um, but I think we've had this conversation, Drick and I, in like private message when we played that... Um, <clears throat> Wood Elves just end up looking like that just because they get battered as opposed to deliberately sort of sacking off players you don't want and going for journeymen. Um, I like that he's got he's got the war dancer with side uh, diving tackle. No, he hasn't. Yeah, it's it, tackle sidestep. I it, like that. I like the other one with strength, obviously. It's a typical Wood Elf team, isn't it? It's like it's it's completely battered, but the, the, the players he's got are really good quality, aren't they? I mean that that tree man. Strength seven, grab block. Strength seven feels like a waste to me. I don't know. Well, he gets three strength dice. He gets get three dice without an assist. Um, <clears throat> so it always yeah, looks good. Have strength seven. Do you and need then have, a... and the second double? He could have had some. Do, 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 do you really need a strength what I'd have seven? For a second double. I don't really know if you need a, a, that or not. I would have took block. I don't know. It, he's it's, got block. It's... He's, he's, he's... Oh yeah, he's got block after that. But it's always risky to take take the strength, and then you're not well, guaranteed block at any yeah. point. Well, it's paid off. It's paid off there, but no, I, I would have gone block and then I probably would have been kicking myself when I got the second double, but... Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, against a, a strength forward dancer with tackle, that's scary. 
Um, Side step and shadowing on the catchers. Oh nice. yeah, I think he started. I think he started Tackle. pulling that stunt on the PC. I think someone was saying, um, and it can catch people out. Um, will it catch the the professional Xbox crew out? We'll we'll see. Um, but it, it's it's a nice thing to put on him. Um, All it takes is half a minute to just forget about diving yeah, tackle. Yeah, absolutely. I've, I forgot about. I I I'm more likely. I'm more likely to forget about shadowing than diving tackle. <clears throat> it's very rare I'll forget diving tackle, but shadowing, God, I, I forget about it all the time. Um, so it's quite a smart thing to do. My concern <clears throat> with wood elves is attrition. I, I saw it yesterday, and I've seen it before. You have these great players, but if they get that game where they end up with four players. Early doors or six players early doors and the other teams, you know, just all this stuff to struggle. Um, and that that's the thing my, I'd worry about on worry. here is he's he's gone full four catchers as well. So that's a lot of strength too. Yeah. He's got no guards to back it up. Yeah. So yeah, not, he's he's relying on his team, leaper really, really, isn't he? He's relying on his number two to get the ball <laughs> loose. Um, the problem is, is that then can get a whooping and stamped on it st instead. Um, it's trick. Yeah. So well, he's, you, gonna you, the, he's gonna leap in with the strength four, and then hopefully go and pick it up with the edge five. But what's plan B? I suppose this is a big question there. What? Is yeah. Plan B? And, and in his leader, his thrower, his leaders out next game, so he's only got two team re rolls. I mean, the, if you look at the team value fifty and sixty. Oh, that's good value. But then you've got to add on another two hundred and ten because of the three learners. So that puts it at seventeen seventy. Um. It's a good team, and because it's Drick, it adds more weight. Um, but it's a gla it's a glass cannon, really. It's yeah. one of them. It's, it's it, you know he's either gonna live or die by uh, by dodging. Yeah, and, I, I, um, d d d I like. And, it, the... and if he runs into tackle, he's in yeah, yeah. a lot. Of yeah, trouble. I I I like number two. That's the thing. What sells me on this team? Number two, and number four. They're the two things. The tree's lovely, and I think it's great, but... Is it Do worth you... 220k, though? No, I don't think so. At movement, too. It'll, it'll, it'll be really good against the Bash teams, but if it gets something fast, it'll be a waste of space. But, well, yeah, that, he'll, but he'll, that, that's the thing. You don't know who you're going to go against. In the action. You don't know who you're going to go against. Um, he's got the Magician Shop. No surprise there. So he's obviously backed himself up with that. So if he's at home, he gets the Wizard Shop as well. Um, so a quick bang, bang, game over. Um, 17 wins, four draws, one loss. I think the loss was a concede to the Bad Beards. This guy doesn't lose many. Um, it, it reminds me no. a bit like as a win. The big way to beat him is to take all his players off the pitch. Then you might have a chance. Um, and again, I won't, I won't put anybody off tipping this guy. Um... I don't know who he's against first round because I don't really look at the schedule. But, um, you know, he's, he's got a chance, hasn't he? Definitely got a chance. Brick's always got a chance. I mean, always. Yeah, he's just ridiculously good. Yeah, absolutely. Did he qualify for PC again this season as well? Pass. I, I, know I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Right then, number seven. And this might be a slight surprise. Um, we'll we'll see what you and the rest of the guys think. But number seven is, if I can find them, Skeleton of the Universe. It is the Kemri team of Najeen's. Really high up for Kemri, I think that is. But what do you think? If you have a look at this team, is there anything? Um, what, what do you think? It's 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 certainly got a team. Certainly got a bench. He's got. A He's got a bench, he's got two dirty players, so that's obviously part of the plan, which is fair enough for uh, Kemri. Yep, yep. He's got no no block. He's got like one player has had block added onto him, and, uh, and he's the ball carrier, so he's not going after anyone. Mm -hmm. so he's got two block out yep. of a 15-man team. That feels sketchy. Mm -hmm. um, Yeah, I mean, like, plenty of guard, plenty of strength, plenty of mighty blow. Yeah, he's going for removals, isn't he? And that's oh yeah, Nijin's plays very smash mouth. Um, he, 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 he fouls you. He's got a bench. He's stamping you every turn. Just about. He's gonna, yeah, this looks he's... like the sort of team Cass would build. Yeah, yeah. If he ever went Camry, maybe. Yeah, nineteen hundred TV. 
and that little block. This yeah. Th and three. This feels like an accident waiting to happen. I mean, both down. It's a one in ten, isn't it? Both down. Something mm. like getting a both down or a skull or double both, double both downs. It's like about a one in ten, one in but nine. But the thing maybe. is, with him having um, a guard, he might be able yeah. to manipulate a few three dice. I'm not sure. I mean, that 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 throw is nice. Agility three, movement seven, kick return as well. Um, he's got a couple it of dead players. Not a Camry team really to have to have him there. Mm. I, I, of, like I said, at I, least I, reliable picking up the ball. The formula's picked up on something. The formula really really likes it. Um, He's got two 10k in the bank, so he's not 1900 per se. If he spends 60k, he's 1840. Najin's has got to a final before with humans. He's a very good player. Uh, I saw him take Kalasim Cassis, I think he was his, his, his chaufs apart. Absolutely took him apart. Um, I, I'm a big fan of Najin's, and I like it when he plays this team. You look at the record 11 wins, 9 draws, 7 losses, nothing. It's not a great record, let's be honest. But. Look at who we played Good last. Enough with Camry, though. Have you seen who we Good played last, though? You have a look at our history. Look who we played last. Ooh, okay. Mm, exactly. But that team's still carrying no injuries, so... But what I'm saying, yeah, so he's basically... Fair enough getting the draw. Fair enough getting the draw, but... but I, I reckon I, that might have been Mutt I'm just playing 22, I'm stay break. away. <laughs> Ouch. I reckon that might have been Mutt just playing, you know, you're not... Maybe, you're not maybe. You're my team this late in the season. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he's got. I mean, it, to me, it's one of those teams. If things go his way, it could knock anybody out, but it could implode the other way as well. Um, but again, you're looking at five game, five game. He's we beat minus players. forty. They were good. We beat, so, oh, we beat Cast two 0 Yeah, I think he made Cast yeah. concede. I think that game after beating. Oh, was that where he? Yeah, he beat him up big time. Yeah, uh, fouling every turn, smashing, and you know he got some good dice as, as you need, but. Um, you know, it it was, you know, it, it it it's interesting that it's seventh. That's all I'm gonna say. It's an interesting one because yeah. you wouldn't have thought this team would be that high up. The formula somehow has said, you know what, this team is better than what a lot of people might think, and it's it's basically expecting it need... to get close. I I, I don't I, I don't know who they're against, but. Um, oh, of course, we get Space Magic, aren't they? What's interesting, because obviously we haven't had Space Magic yet either, so he's going to be in the top six. So that, that game, what's going on tonight, is going to be a big game um, and probably one of the best of the round. So there you go. Anyway, that, that's seven players anyway. That's Skeletons of the Universe, um, the genes. Right then, six players. So just one off the Fable top five. And it is uh, another top-class coach, as they all are. Um... And he's going to try and get it with the Nagel. Point and click. Gnome Slayer's Nagel, wherever they may be. If I can find page them. One. You'll probably find them before. Oh, there they are. Top page middle page one. one. Yeah. Point and click. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go on. Let me know. You're, you're that, like, top Nurgle, that top Nurgle warrior is awesome. Yeah. Missing piling on, but other than that. I think the pros, yeah, the pros are a nice choice actually. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's uh, block on all the guys that you want block on. Oh, he has got a beast in Urgle. Yeah. Didn't think he had one for a second then. No, nope, he has. Couple of claws. What's he got on him? Guard stand firm. Six goal. Okay. Each their own. Um, it's a goodish team he's got he's got a couple of killers he, 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 I, I suppose it's a bit bit different because you usually see more 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 kill don't you in these teams um, i think two two to three killers is it's fine yeah to be yeah. enough to be yeah. honest no slayer <laughs> you're only going to get yeah i'm going to say no slayer said to, to me a really good shot in no slayer said to me nagel's easy mode um so i expect him to win the competition and shows how easy it is um i i again i don't mind the team and obviously you've got regen as well, what backs it up, what'll help, you know, as long as he gets decent rolls. Um he's a very good coach, as we all know. Yeah, um, yeah, known for that is great. Interestingly he got he gets the sure. leader, but he didn't take the coach assistant. Interesting. Three team rolls, sure, hundred forty K in the bank. He's got yeah, what's he got? Just There's one extra player. Players. But he's got money he's to got get up. He's got yeah, money. He's got a dirty the, the... Player, so you think you're thinking you're going to get someone sent off if you got that. 
Mm. You want to have, I'd think, at least a couple of subs. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. You're, you're really leaning on your regen working. Yeah. I, I Like I said, I, 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 I like the team. I like the coach. I like the frenzy. I like the claw. Um, although that number eight doesn't have block, I hate that. Um, but again, if it if can roll powers, then it doesn't matter, does it? Um, I just, I don't know, I, I, just, I would just like a bit more punch, if I'm being honest. I like the two heads, two guys with two heads. That's, yeah, that's good, isn't that's it? That's quite nice. Yeah, yeah, manoeuvrability yeah. and everything like that, isn't it? Um, one of them's got agility as well, so yeah, it's always nice to... Yeah. So I, I like yeah. to say... So you've got it, one guy who's going into hit and one guy who's going into collect. So maybe yeah. a defensive sort of Nurgle team, which would be quite cool to see, rather than an attrition one. Yeah, he's got the security gate, interesting. Good record, 32 wins, 12 draws, 10 losses. That's a very good record. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and I like, like say, the security gate on this sort of team because you do Yeah, yeah, I, 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 use it, I use it. You want to uh, know how many turns you're going to get because um, the last thing you want is you I, know, yeah. turn I, 8 to turn into turn 7 on a team like this. Yeah, I usually uh, take security gate as well. So, you know. Um. Like I say, it, it, I think he'll do well. I just think he lacks punch, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, so, But, you know, he's going to probably prove me wrong. But it's a nice balanced team, and that's what a lot of Nagel coaches want. He's got a couple of pieces of guard. I just think it's just lacking something. But I think someone did say um, that people said he'd lost a few players. So that's understandable, because Nagel are very slow to level up. So, you know, maybe he's lost a killer or two. I don't know. Because um, I'm sure he had more yeah. kill piece than this before, but it is what it uh, is. This team looks set up very nicely for just a oh, it very. Is. It is. It a, definitely a two is. two-one grind. A very. Yeah, it, it, that's it, what it, it's. It's definitely yeah. two-one grind with a side side dish of nutrition. A, a, a guy as good as yeah. um, Gnome Slay could definitely get this done. Definitely. Um, so that is your number six. That is your number six. So now we're down to the top five. And usually the top five is where the, the, the magic number is. These five are usually, um, points-wise, pull away from the rest of the rest of the competition. Um, oh, Tizzle's asking uh, yeah. where his elves were. We Hi, elves! Oh, crikey, let me have a look. Oh, oh. Blitz blockers. Blitz blockers. They was on the first show. I'm trying to think where they are now. Oh. It, wasn't, oh. it wasn't very high up, I'll tell you that now. Um, twenty seventh, something like that, if I remember. I think. I think it was twenty seventh out of thirty one. But hey, there you go. It's it's on my YouTube thing anyway. It's on my YouTube on the first uh, first video. Um, so there you go. But yeah, I like this team. Anyway, top five. Then this is where the the money's supposed to be uh, cashed in, and the fifth team. Well, how did they get this far? It is none other than the Pika Blue Blood Axe Storm Boys oh, of Mouthy I Barbecue. Agree. An Oak team in the top five. Let's have a look what he's got. Where they, where they belong. Where they belong. There we go. They're hiding away in the fifth spot. Now, tell me what you like about these then. Cause try, if you can try and remember the other Oak team and try and compare them to this one. Backlist. I'm having a bit. Well, while you're doing that, I'll just ask uh, Sizzle Bizzle. Um, um, I'll just quickly say oh, no, Sizzle yes, Bizzle. Yeah, yeah, they, it's Hero Jones. They, no troll. Yeah. Hero I, Jones team, wasn't it? With no troll, etc. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I prefer the other team, actually. Ooh, do you? Well, the other team are more manly orcs, aren't they? They're, yeah. they're, they're more manly. Um, Again, I mean, it's, it's, this it's one, interesting. It's lower TV because I think he's got the guard in the right place. I think yeah. the other team did have the guard in the wrong place. Um, but this team's got no lineman to speak of, which is what I prefer on my orc builds. Right. Um, he's got a goblin to go with his troll, so yep. that makes a bit more sense. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got... Oh, he's got... A, I like that number seven. Number seven. Tackle, yeah, I like number seven. Strength I love number seven. And I like Frenzy. I like yep. Frenzy on just one player. On an orc team, just to patrol the sidelines and say, you know, you're not, you're not pushing up the sideline. We will surf you. Don't yeah. mess about. Um, other than that, it's pretty standard. I mean, it's just yeah, guard, mighty blow, tackle, block, um, which is all you want on an orc team, really. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I, I, shame I, about I, that top Blackhawk. Uh, yeah, it is a shame. Number I, one. I must admit, I prefer this team to the other one. I really do. I think his guard's in the right place. I love his blitzers. That combination. Four blitzers, all tackle, all mighty blow. Uh, one part, I mean, that, that number seven is amazing. It really is. Um, but it's what you're saying about five games, though. If he loses him... Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, then he's, got, then he's I, just I, got a very yeah. vanilla Rook team. But again, yeah, but a vanilla Rook team's solid. Um, but he's still got three tackle yeah, pieces. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, like I said, I, he's Armanan as well, so he's going to be harder to injure. I, I do, I, he's got the troll, which gives him extra beef. Number one is a killer, isn't it? I mean, not having guard and block on that. I would be tempted to go guard ahead of block there if, um, if, I, if he gets levelled up. I that think late you, in the day, yeah, because he's, uh, cause he's you've, not got in, to you've got enough book. block in there anyway. Just use him as an assist. Um, I like his agility fourth thrower as well, um, and he's got kick. I like he's got kick off return. That's I love always kick useful. Return. Yeah, he's got the goblin, like you said, makes more sense with a troll. Um, for re rolls again, the orcs like the re rolls, don't they? For some reason. Um, but again, the good thing around four re rolls is you can always drop one if if you need to get that edge. In the inducement was 150k in the bank. He's got the security you can also gate. Throw them away. Yeah. If you've got four, you can just greed re-roll as well. Yeah. Twelve wins. Which I know now. people say you shouldn't, but sometimes, yeah. Yeah. A greed re-roll is fun. Yeah. To... I mean, you, you're more likely to greed re-roll if you've got four, haven't you? Let's be honest. Mm. Um, Twelve wins, nine draws, four losses. Um, I'm very familiar with this record because I was trying to catch it. Yeah. The only I'm failing badly. But the yeah. only concern I have looking at these games is he got beat by the Wolves. He got beat by point and click. You know, um, he drew with Sensors Universe. What to be fair, it wasn't a bad result because that was before they got bashed up. Um, but he played a lot of games early on, did he? he? Drew with the Wolves there. He got stuffed by the Rats. Yeah, but so maybe he won with he won with Orcs, didn't he? Two seasons ago, so. I thought the Dwarfs won. I think the formula might be quite right on this, you know. But was either it, way... Was it Orcs it, he used a couple of... I thought... I don't know. Did he? I, I, I'm confused. It dwarfs or... I don't know. Either way, he's a good coach. Um, yeah, I mean, I like this team. It's built the right way. The only negative is like we picked up and it's not his fault, number one. The rest the rest of the team is fan. Um, and I just think, you know... If it yeah. was me, I'd have a dirty player somewhere as well. If you get dead place, maybe that Goblin, maybe really. that line. Oh, Lanark. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is a good team. Maybe that line. Oh, I would have had. I would have had dirty player instead of block. But, but that's just a judgment. Yeah, that's just. Do, do, do you do think um, it's a solid team? Do you think nineteen hundreds a good TV value? What he's got there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah and and yeah, you, I mean, you think the there's formula? Nothing there. Do you, do you nothing think... there. I'd want to cut. Yeah. Do you think that? Do you think the formula has got this right fifth? Do you think there'll be a few raised eyebrows or do you think they've got it right? Do you think that's about where he should be? I think he's definitely in with a chance because I say he won two seasons ago, didn't qualify last season. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'd, I'd put him there or thereabouts. Yeah, Slack, Slack um, has said he... Depending on matchups. Slack has said he won with Dwarfs against Orcs. So, uh, you know, there you go. Oh, okay. But um, I, I, I'd like to say it's a good team and we get to take the mick out of him. Win-win. Uh, um, right then, top four. Now, fourth place is the other Skaven team. So, remember the Ratasticals, Mark IV. And I remember someone in Facebook, I don't know if it was Tizzle or whoever, who really thought, they say, oh, yeah, Tominator for the win. And I was like, really? Are you going for that rat team instead of the Mutt rat team? Really? I was like, oh, this is I haven't interesting. Found yet. But then... It's like the formula agrees with them, saying, you know what, you're onto something here. Um, so let's have a look. I've got to find them as well now. Um, Piper's best friends. Yeah, there they are. Third page, top left. Oh, my... Mm, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I'll have to disagree Ooh, on this one. No, no. Oh, Ooh, God, no. Interesting. Hmm... Well, he only needs he only needs one one turner. He's got an agility five piece, but he's got his one turner. That's great. He's, um, got... he's got a killer rat ogre. That's nice with block and claw. Only two re rolls. Nice. What is the? What is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it some sort of like um, 
cheat where you get extra good dice if you just have two rerolls. Um, has he got a? Is there a leader? I, I'm trying to find a leader. I don't think there's a leader. I don't think so. No. No, the is vanilla. He hasn't even got a star that's a high TV with yeah. 1920. Oh and my. he's got a lot of injuries. I'm not going to go through, but there's like, what, one, oh, two, yeah, three, four injured players. Yeah. Three of them have got move bust, which is quite big on Skaven, because, you know, movement is their thing. The rat, um, the rat Ogre's pretty good, apart from the stat bust. He's moving 10 guy, but against a jelly oh, floor, not yeah, jelly like five. A nice, i tell you what is nice, that number six, apart from his armor six. Agility 5, Strength 3. That's a nice piece. Um, is that Leap as well? I, I think it's a decent well, team. Yeah. Okay. I hate the only two re-rolls. I despise that with a passion, but I, I would probably say that for probably every team. Um, Magician Shop as well, so obviously that always helps. Uh, but look at this. 21 wins, 4 draws, 4 losses. That's a good record. He beat his last team 5-0. He beat the team before that 4-0. Um, so his team's in form nil, at the right nil, time. 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, gotcha, okay. Yeah, so he's, he's there or thereabouts. Um, I can't remember who it was who was in Facebook, and they really was like, yeah, Tominate for the win. And this is where the form is interesting, because I would take Mutt's team every day of the week over this. I think. I'd be interested to see how the form, what the formula's doing. Oh, I know. Um... The thing is, though, we, yeah. we, when I when Shrouded I fair, in secrecy. I, yeah, I should yeah. I should really not get roped into them because the, when we did on the PS4 the first season, I was like, how can that be above that? And you know what? Not all the time, but majority of them, it was spot on. And I was like, you know, it's. But the thing, what I must stress, maybe not with these guys, but like Tizzle was saying earlier, um, was the Bretonian team ranked higher than him? And it was, but you are talking minuscule difference between, say, from 31 to, say, about 22. You know, one hundredth of a second, if there might be been difference between you and the Bretts. It's only when you go higher up that the, the chasm seems to widen. Um, so that, you know, it, it, it's not that big. And the the um, the Bretonians, I mean, they, they weren't far ahead of you anyway, was they? It wasn't like there was a big, massive uh, gap. Um... See if I can find them. I probably won't now. Where are they? They were twenty fifth. Look at this team. Yeah, they were twenty fifth. Nice twenty seventh. The sorry, strength upon the storm vermin. Sorry, mm -hmm. the, just looking at this team. There's a few nice little bits actually. The strength upon that one storm vermin. Yep. Gives you a little bit more punch where you do need it on Skaven. Yeah. The other one's a pylon mighty blow tackle. Yep. That's good. quite nice. He's he's looking to injure people, so he's looking for a bit of removal. Yep. The break tackle's nice on the... You don't want a big bench with Skaven. It's, it's the team value's out of control completely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that... you're, you're saying some teams don't look like a bargain. This team does not look like a 19-20 team. No, it and doesn't. And then it's only got two re-rolls on top of that. I know. So it's like, well... So what's going on If you on want to here? cut something, you're cutting players, but you've only got 12 players, so you don't really want to you do can't, that. You can't, so... you can't, you can't go with 11 players. That would be yeah. just... I, I mean, I think where, I don't see where the team value is. I don't. I really don't. I mean, what we got? We got two strength ups, so that's an extra two hundred. Strength, two strength ups. Uh, two two doubles on the the rat ogre. Um, okay, that's like eighty. Mm. Yeah, it, it's a lot of team value for what you get in there. I, I would definitely back the other scaven over these. But the, the three th agility five, if nothing yeah. else. I, this sets this is sometimes why I question my own formula because I'm like. But if this team gets further, then they'll be saying, "Well, we got it right, Burns." Um, but there you go. That that is the, that apparently the formula says that team is slightly better than the other team. I'm not saying we agree with it, but that's what the formula's come up with. So we're down to the next, the last three, the last three teams. One of these will get the honour of wearing the triple B tip. I, I bet all three can't wait, and I'm sure they're all praying it's them. Sure they are. Just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> right then, so let's go on to number three. It is the other Necro team, Puppers, uh, coached by Space Magic W. So let's see if we can find where they are. First page, bottom left. Now then, 1830 TV. He's finally got Mighty Blow on a, a werewolf, so he'll be happy about that. Again, and oh, look at this goal. Number seven, strength four, agility four, blood, show-handed goal, beautiful. 
got all of that. Oh, he's... Spice Spice knows how to use. He sure extra does. Agility and extra he sure does. His his um his two headed beastmen were an absolute nightmare mm. a couple of seasons mm. ago, um, and I think I imagine. I haven't played him actually this season. I imagine he'd be using that goal the same way. Yeah. yeah. Um, as well as a ball carrier to just be jumping in and, and having a pop. This team's just nice. This is a really nice team. Um, 18, 13 value, three re rolls. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I really Everything don't have a problem with the. I don't have a problem with the team value. That goal. Yeah. Costs Everything you a lot. want is there for a, a decent team value. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, both the whites have got guard. Yeah, one of them's got tackle piling on Marty Blow. Yep, so you've got a couple of killy pieces. Yeah, I, I got the wolves. Yeah, I mean obviously yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the golems are the weak spot, and I think Space has already said that 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 that's his weak spot. Um, but again, it's a good solid team. Eighteen thirty, that's not a bad team value. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't have anything really bad to say about the team. There's nothing I don't really like. Security Gate, yeah, that's always popular. 23 wins, 7 draws, 2 losses. As always with Space, you get a fantastic Typical record. Typical Space, yeah. Uh, it lost to, I mean, to space, 2 losses late, for Space, but... I mean, I don't know. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have gone very wrong for Space to uh, have 2 losses in the season. It is what it is. I mean, eventually good coaches will be, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day. Um but yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say about the team. It, it's it's a good team. It, the TV's fine. Um, obviously, very good coach. Uh, yeah, the no, jeans, say, yes, it will. Everything there you want. Yeah, the jeans. I will as soon as this goes back. I will put on my YouTube channel. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, obviously it's free. It tells you when it comes up. But um, yeah, I would say if you want to watch this back, about twenty minutes. It doesn't take long for me to download it. But uh, yeah. Uh, we've, we've obviously talked about your team in this show. So, uh, yeah, it'd be good for you to watch it back. Um, so, yeah, so that, that's third place then, the Puppers, um, Necro. So, we're down to two. We are down two. And this is this is interesting. These two teams finished exact points. Exactly. I could not split them. So, we can't have two firsts. So, we went to Nuffle. The Nuffle coin of destiny had to be span, flicked in the air to separate the two teams. What are the bad beards of Rambo and the Crusaders of Degoku? Mm. Mm. And the coin came down and it flipped down and Nuffle decided that Rambo, the bad beards, would not get the triple b rating and the bad beards are ranked second and i'm sure rambo is fist pumping in the air going yes i dodged the bullet there i now going to become champion but um these two finished on exactly the same points so let's have a look at the bad beards then nuffle said they don't deserve to be top so he'll be happy with that um so let's have a look I at the nuffle's Nuffle's the main man in uh, most yeah, of the decisions be, in this know. game, to be honest. So maybe maybe, maybe he knows side. about the triple. Trouble. Maybe he knows about triple B rating. And he's saying, you know what, Rambo, I'm going to look after you, kid. I'm going to make the other guy get the curse. Um, he said to me he played 89 games with his team. Um, I can believe that. And yeah, he's right. 89 games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, surprisingly, yeah. he has the highest I... TV of 2130. Um. Oh, man, where do you start with this tit? Oh, my God, this is a nightmare. And you know what's really this annoying? Looks... And and oh. I don't want to disrespect the other coaches. He got the best quarter of the draw. Why couldn't he could, Why couldn't he just swap with me? You know, so I can at least try and get past the uh, round. Uh, he got Cheney straight up. Cheney's team's an absolute car wreck. Um, I mean, hopefully, I mean, he may get, he may get Nagel second round, but he's like, well... Freaking hell, look at the firepower. Look he, at the he, firepower the Wabians have got. He won't be bothered by that. He won't. He won't be bothered by that. Look at this. Strength farm, yeah. break tackle, bull centaur. One, two, three. Is that three, four? No, three mighty blow claw pommers. So three with claw and, and then one two, without. And then two mighty blow pommers. Um, and then he's got number four, was a fresh draw blocker, but hey, who cares? Um, 13 places, got plenty of hobgoblins. Um, he's got leader, so he'll have 14 rerolls. Yep, yeah, good lad. 
He's got kick and wrestle and fend on his ball carrier, which yeah, that's quite a nice little combination. It's Even not if bad. you're going down, you're taking the ball away from him. I yeah, quite like not, that. It's not bad. Um, really high TV, but you see why he's got it. He's got a referee arrest area, so he's going to be booting the living daylights out. Yeah. Um, Standard, yeah. It's, it's just good. 55 wins, 20 draws, 40 losses. You can't grumble. Um, he basically... It's the typical... Oh, actually, no, I was about to say if he comes up against Elves, he'll be in trouble. But no, he's got six tackle pieces. So even then, he's probably not that worried. Seven tackle pieces. So even then, he's probably not that worried. Yeah, um, it, it's... it's Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's a horrible team. I'd, you'd I expect to it to be a good this. team for 20 and 130. Um... The, I just, I just think it's good. I really do. I just. Yeah, I think Rambo's at his best with uh, Chaos Dwarves, actually. Oh, he just yeah. I mean, I mean the he, thing is, he's he going to be qualified given... with Skaven the other season, but um. Yeah, he yeah, likes to I bring think, the I think pin, he, doesn't he? He struggled. He's more bash oriented. Um, uh, and like I said, nobody wants to play this team. Cheney, the current champion, will play this team. But I tell you what. I mean, oh, keep, I call, keep calling my media. Cheney's a very good coach. You know, he's not far off the eyes way into the world. If sim for some bizarre reason, he saves you his worst game for a final. This isn't a final. He will have a lot of inducements. Um, so don't count Cheney out, but you'd probably expect. Oh, it'd it'd, be, it'd be a big upset, I think. It would be huge. Be that it'd number two is really nice as well. When oh, you look at the yeah, strength five, he's, the strength oh, five ball's nice, and then you look at the other one with frenzy break tackle pylon. It's just like he's it's just pylon? an no, sorry, amazing break, tackle, team. Frenzy, yeah, it's nasty, isn't well. it? But after eighty-nine games, you'd expect him to have an amazing team. To be fair, um, yeah. Rambo, I, I'd just like to point out, I, I I beat this team early in the in the league. I just need to get that out there. I know Rambo yeah, probably won't thank me if, beat he's, him. Uh, if he's listening. But uh, I got about six armor breaks in like two the first two turns, and Good lad. after that it went downhill quickly for him. <laughs> there we go then. So we now will have a look at the team. The Triple B rating says has the best chance of winning. He got to the final with Lizards last season. He had a good run, and he just fell short. Can his chaos? Who? Well, let's be honest. It felt like watching Space Magic again, you know, when he had that big run and then his team started getting losses the higher the TV they went. Um, I'm just trying to find them now, wherever they are. Bum, ba, da, ba, bum. What page? Uh, top we'll right, page one, ah, I yeah. think. Page two, they are. Crusaders. Oh, page six, sorry. Yeah. 1890 TV. Again, look at the kill on this. My block, claw block, my claw block, my claw block, my claw block, my claw block. My claw block. There's five no of them. Pylon. No pylon, but he's gone with guard. What's good? Um, he's got a nice ball carrier, but he's got two. He's got three. He could actually have three. Uh, two agility four pieces, and then he's got a short handed blodge. Um, two handed. Sorry, two handed, two headed. Extra arms ball carrier as well. Extra arms. Um, uh, I, I must admit, I was surprised this was first. I, I'll be honest. I thought, yep, yeah, top yeah. 10. But. It's only got the one tackle piece. Why on earth is this top? I have no idea. Um, but for some reason, the formers said this does it. Again, I will stress it was a coin flip between the top two. I personally wouldn't have had it in the top two. I but wouldn't have got this. He's a good coach. Top five or top ten even though. I mean, it's... Or I, I think top ten, it would be on it's the not, outskirts. You might be top ten, but it's, it's not massive in no. terms of... What's he's got there? potential to wreck some shit with his team, though. I think the thing is as well, he's, yeah, got, the, the he's got a lot of flexibility because he's got three ball handlers in the team as well, what's quite flexible. Um, I was about to say, I think that's a bit bloat, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, I expect a few uh, other people to say that as well. But if he wants to play the throwing maybe, game, he can do. Um, if I, if I, with the two agility fours, the other guy feels like a waste of time. I see. I don't. He's got I, two I, I would probably pick it up with the with the number six and then look for the handoffs to the other two. Um, or maybe oh, we could play a throwing chaos team. Which well, that's it. That's it. It's, he, he's not one dimensional. So yeah, he's not one sure. dimensional. And you know when people say, well, people use got a plan A, but they haven't got a plan B. This guy's definitely got a plan A and a plan B. He can do both. Uh, this team should still get attrition, even without pylon. He should still make attrition. The guy's obviously in his first season got to a final, so obviously he is a very good coach. 
Um, and he got to a good start. He just started to fall away near the end. 39 wins, 5 draws, 8 losses. is a really good record. Um, he drew with a bad beard two games ago. So he can certainly hold his own with uh, Rambo. Um, he beat the 40 miners as well. He slapped a, another Chaos team. Um, he lost to Bad Beads, but only one nil. So you know he he, he give he, he certainly can give Rambo a game. Um, but if he, if he came up against like um uh, like um Mutskaven, he'd been a world of pain, I think. Yeah, um, I'm just going he, a bit further back through the history. He doesn't yeah. seem to have really. Oh, he lost again to Rambo. Yeah, and then he lost to. Um, he, he hasn't the, got. Then drew with Rambo. He hasn't really played the no. players a lot. He hasn't, and has when he? he has, he's lost. Mm. I, I have a big I mean, question I'm not mark saying on he's, this I'm not team. saying he's not a great coach. Cause, no, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, he qualified pretty much on day one, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. that. He was just done. Um, yeah. But again... But, but when you start... To, yeah. You start off, everyone's on like a 1,000, and if you can get a nice early lead, then you can get a... Yeah. Especially with the Chaos Kill team, you can, you oh, can yeah. get some wins. Yeah. Um, and and like then people will concede a lot as well when, when they see teams like this. So you don't yeah, know. I when mean, you start to pull up in equal TV late in the season. That's more of a challenge. So, I'll, yeah. be, I'll be interested to see how how well he does play on. Uh, my 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 only yeah, concern in, is I think the, he'll play well against Bash, but I, I I'm yet to see how he plays well against Agility. I I thought he struggled. What, one tackle piece. He, he, yeah, but uh, you know what? You know when which, he, he he did yeah. really well with his lizards. He beat all the Bash teams, but then he came against an Agility team in the final, and I thought that was uh, Cheney's worst game. But he still did enough to win. Cheney should not have won that game. But the Lizards seemed to... I don't know. It, it just seemed to... Oh, what, what do I do now? I've got the numbers. I've got everything. What do I do? I tell you what. I just won't mark up that catcher who was going, give me the ball. And I can take it into overtime. Um, that's my only concern. And again, I can't remember who this team's got next. But my concern was, if it's against Bash, no problem. If it's against some sort of agility team, he could struggle. But I hey. think against Skaven, he's going to really struggle because he's got three... Movement yeah. busts, mm. and they're not fast to start with this team. No, and let's then just you've have got a... one Chaos Warrior down to four, and two of the Beastmen down to five. Let's let's just slow them be... down even more. Before we go, we'll just have a quick look at the 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 uh, the uh, schedule. So you have got Concede Management two against Team Revenge. So it's TFG and Glasshammer. Um, the Blood Axe Stone Boys. You'd expect them to win. I mean, if we look at the rankings, technically, Concede Management versus Tina's Revenge, that really should be a close game. That's 15th versus 11th. Blood Axe Storm Boys, who are obviously 5th, they're against Ragnarok, who's 23rd, so you'd expect the Yorks to win that. And the Blood Diggers against... Um, they're ranked 14th. They're against the Humans, what were ranked 20th. So, again, that could be quite close. The West team, yeah, or the good. bottom team, the, uh, the Kislev, against the lizards now that is as oh, good really? that oh. is a good like, as... i want to see a good run from kislev because i uh i really like uh, uh yeah um but that's a, that, that to me tag, but charlie top i think he's a really good player to me that's to a, well. that is as good as he could have got he's going to be able to leap against strength two pieces so the kislev to me you'd look at the rankings and say you know what the the lizards should win that but that is a good matchup for the kislev but look at this one Point and click versus Crusaders. So first plays sixth. That will be awesome. That really will be an what, awesome. Uh, game. What race were point and click? Nagle. It's uh, Numb Slay. Nagle team. Chaos. Mm, uh, what think, a so game that'll be. They could each other. Yeah. So they could both go out that round effectively, depending <laughs> on how that plays out. <laughs> Obviously, place all the pro elves be uh, never be you know that is uh, we can't even imagine oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bad beards. Hang on. So, hmm? Did you say the kids left were worst? So they're worse than the goblins and the yeah yeah. And the oh, my yeah, life. the bottom. But if you look at the team, there's not much of them left. Um, but yeah, ah, that oh. that's as that's as best as he could get. Um, so place all the pro elves. We don't know that against the halflings. The bad beard to a second. They will play centers of the universe. That'll be the that'll be a huge shock. I mean, centers of the universe with twenty six, I think, and obviously the the bad beard to second. So that'd be quite huge. underdeveloped. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, the goblin king. So that's the goblins, and uh, they were ranked. Uh, I can't remember now. Twenty seventh, maybe or twenty ninth, something like that. They're against the wild card. What was the Vins twenty first? I expect the uh, Underworld to absolutely steamroll that. Uh, I think that'll be interesting because uh, 
Kling Kling plays really well with the goblins, actually. Yeah. He's qualifying them regularly yeah. now. So he's getting better and better with them. Yeah. The Immortals of Zen versus I would have beat Jimmy. Now, that's interesting because both of them are, are next to each other. Um, you know, but, you know, 18th and 19th bars, you know, no tackle against plenty blodge. That would be a struggle for me. But I'll give I, it... I feel the elves are going to have you. Oh, there. yeah, I'm, I do. I'm I sorry, do. Mate. No, sorry. no. I, yeah. I, I, you know the prediction um, thing he's doing? Um you know that thing he does, uh, Robinho? Yeah, yeah. I will. I mean, I ain't done one yet, but I will be picking the Dark Elves. I usually pick myself, <laughs> but I will be picking the Dark Elves because I can't oh, see Sometimes you just have to, uh, yeah. So, sometimes you have to be honest with uh, yourself. Then skeleton, you know the, skeleton of the Universe 2, if Najeen's is in the chat, spoiler alert, I'm giving you where you're ranking in 3, 2, 1. So Skeleton of the Universe uh, ranks 7th. They will play Puppers ranked third. That will be amazing that game. That should be close. That is tonight at 9pm. I'm trying to see if I can twitch that. Um, Bloodstone Buccaneers versus um, the Ogres. I expect the Vamps maybe might get that one. The Bloodstones. I mean, the Ogres, I think, was there the... Where were they? They were 28th I would, and the Vamps. I would put Vamps against over Ogres, I would think. I haven't even heard the ranking, but I'd definitely say Vamps. Yeah. Um, and then Piper's best friend against Drick Hunters. That'll be amazing. Piper's, they're ranked fourth. The Dricks have ranked eighth. The formula gives the edge to these rats. That'll be an amazing game. I really think that's a, a tough game for well, for both. And I you know, yeah. I know people expect Drick to get through because it's Drick, but I'm not so sure he might not do. And the formula just gives a slight edge to the Skaven. We'll see how the formula holds up in that one. Um, Wretched Wolves 2 against Goth Rockers. So Wretched Wolves 2, they're ranked 9th against the Goth Rockers who were ranked 13th. So you expect that to be a close game. Hell's Angels, I expect them to get it done. They're 12th against Unkindled who were ranked 22nd. I think they'll get it done. And Rantastical, they were ahead. Uh, they was like ranked 10th against Miners Fury. Um, I don't even know where they were. Sorry, yeah. Is it minus forty? Sorry, they were ranked sixteen, so minus they got 40. it done. And uh, the firm we got the got it wrong between the unicorns and the rockers, but the one much between them. So there you go. Um, last thing to say then: Who are you tipping to be the champions again, and who do you think is the best wild card? I'm sticking with Mutt for champion. Yeah. I don't yeah. think there's, yeah, I don't think there's any way about that. Um, I'm going to hate myself for this, but I think TFG might be in with a shot. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't. Yeah. I, I can see why. The has got a couple of strength players. Yeah, you, you, yeah. A couple of stand firm guard. It's it's yeah. It's a good build, and it it doesn't do anything exciting, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, that I, loses your games, and I think at this point it's just not lose, isn't it? So, I. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I. For some reason, I like Najin's Kemri as a wild card. They're in the worst part of the draw, but I can certainly see them beating myself or the Dark Elves. And I can see him beating the Necro. It won't be easy, and, and Space Magic might just wipe the floor with him. But as wild cards go, I thought that was the guy I would go with. But then I realised Crikey is ranked in the top 10, so he's not really a bit of a... wouldn't be much of a shock, would it? So I had to rejig it, and I went with Hell's Angels, because I think Blade's a good coach. His team's insane. And I will go for them. Um, what I would say would win it, I had no idea. I quite like Mutt, and I like the Bad Beards. I think the Bad Beards has got such a good draw. Because um, uh, you'd Boy expect enough. him to beat Cheney. You'd ex if you can take it off him and get two up, that team's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Um, but they're all bash on that side, really. That's why I liked liked him. Um, uh, so okay, if he's got a nice run in and it's all bash, then yeah, I, 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 I reckon I reckon uh, Maeve is going to do really well again. I, I don't. I I, I really. Uh, I, you know, I walks. usually I usually have uh, someone I really do like, but I, I, I don't want to say the bad beards because he'll he'll blame me if I if I tip him. Um, <laughs> But nothing really stands there's a, out. There's, a, there's about there's about four or five that wouldn't you would normally say, oh, they'll win. But because there's four or five. If if I if, if someone turned around to me and yeah, said, you can't Benny, really you can it. pick any team in this competition, which one would you pick? I would be torn between Mutz, Skaven, 
and the bad beards. And if I'm being honest, I would be like, you know what? Maybe it's the year of the rat. Maybe I would go with them. And it no disrespect. No disrespect to Tizzle Bizzle. Um, I think it's a good draw next round. So I will go with Mutt. I'm sorry, Mutt. I put the curse on you. And my wild card is Hell's Angel. So between them two, I think I've got the finalist. So uh, that's what I would go with. Um, but yeah, I, I do like Mutt. He, he, I've seen him play fantastic with just garbage. And this team, to me, I think the formula's got it wrong. I think that team's a better one of the two. Uh, the agility five will, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I if, really do. If he knocks the ball free, he's taking it off you. If he yeah. scores two or three times... And he's got the wizard chop as well, hasn't he? So he's got everything covered, yeah. in my opinion. So he's looking um, at popping your cage with the wizard and then... Yeah. And then just taking the ball off you and, and throwing it wherever he wants with agility five and then... Yeah. Catching it with agility five and running, what, 18 squares away from where it was. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I like, I like it. I think he's got a good draw, um, and I think he'll get it done. His, his big danger will be Hell's Angels because they will be able to match him. I really do think they'll match him. So, um, I, 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 I can see Hell's Angels getting past Unkindled, although I don't think it'll be easy. Um, and then Richard Wolves and Goth Rockers, or oh God, both of them are good teams as well, but. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to go with Mutt. I, I know it's not very original, but I think they'll do well, and I, I just got a sneaky suspicion that Jeans might do well. I, I, I've got a feeling it's going to be more heartache for the puppers tonight and Space Magic. I don't know why. Really? Uh, I hope I, not. I, I really hope not. I, 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 I want Space I, I want, to do well. I want Space to really have a good run, because he, he deserves one. Where's he? Has he got... He's definitely he's got past the first round, hasn't he? Definitely. Oh yeah, he's, 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 he he got to the semi final once. I'm sure he did. Okay. So okay. he's, yeah, he's he been did. there before, yeah. but he, he, he's he's gone out a lot of times round one. Um, I I just think if if the fouling and everything else and the gene gets gets one of those games where he's, he gets on a roll, I think he could be in trouble. He does have claw though, so the genes are going to have to be careful that. Space doesn't do his genius manipulation in positioning and start clawing them two guardians because you can't lose them. That they are key. But um, and obviously Especially as well, them two guardians regen as well. Ain't regen ain't got block. No, Re regen's going to be big as well, isn't it? Because both teams have regen, so it could come down to that as well. But um, I, I think it, it, I think it's going to be an amazing game. I really do. But anyway, that's us done. Um, so thanks for little Yoshi for joining me. So. Thanks very much, buddy. Not they sure are the rankings. Right, they are the rankings done for the Xbox and the PS4 has been done. So it'll be interesting to see after when, when it's all said and done if the formula gets it right or gets it so wrong. Um, but we, we won't know until the end of the season. And like I said, there's a lot of conundrums, a lot of you know, a lot of different draws, you know, so we'll see. But anyway, thanks for everybody in chat. Um, good luck to everybody in the playoffs. Hope you all do very well. And uh, may the best coach win. Simple as that. Take care, guys, and speak to you later. Bye-bye.